Hey guys, it's me, and welcome to part 288 of Toy Blast. So, I have got like a frick ton to talk about. In this, in this video, I'm going to take my time, or in this game, I'm going to take my time. As I try to recap, try to recap this day. As I try to re, as I try to recap this day, and uh, probably, probably get the best information I can. As we uh, deal with these colored bowling pins. Okay, um, how do I, how do I start? I think maybe, let, I think maybe let's start from, let's start from last night. Let's start with last night. About Friday Night Smackdown, I I posted a couple of videos, and I uh, I can only I only got two I only made two videos so far. The, the reason I couldn't make out like more than two like more than two videos of of Friday Night Smackdown is because well, apparent apparently my uh. My Moto G was acting crappy. So yeah, um, honestly didn't know what to choose there. Okay, good. Um, frick. <sighs> like I didn't so like I didn't get the opening match. I didn't get the the women's championship match between uh EO Sky and LWO's Zelina Vega. I didn't I didn't get that. And apparently I was too I was too petrified to get Cody Rhodes's entrance entrance into the arena because it's so pyrotechnic. I couldn't, I couldn't handle that. That's the exact reason why I didn't want Kaylee to go, is because I didn't want her to suffer the exact same thing as last year. You remember that, I told you that. Like, they were all, like, it was all... Paying tribute to Bray Wyatt and Terry Funk. And to my shocker. Well. And well it's not to my shocker. I actually cried. I, I was in freaking tears when they played the tribute package for Bray Wyatt. And, and I actually didn't know much about Terry Funk. I did it. Yes. I didn't know much about Terry Funk. I didn't like WWE back then. I was probably a toddler. So, R.I.P. to, to Terry Funk as well. But the most... Like, the most important, the most death that just broke my heart was definitely Bray Wyatt. Oh, and speaking of passings, Bray Wyatt and Terry Funk aren't the only two, aren't the only two people that were, that are deceased. 
I just received news. Like, I just received news earlier today that the legendary, that the former legendary host of Price is Right, known as Bob Barker, he passed away earlier today at the age of 99. Maybe it was because of old, maybe it was because of, because of how old he is, or, or is it the exact same thing Bray Wyatt suffered? But he, he was a, he was a legendary Price is Right host, the game show. If I were to remember one thing about, about Bob Barker being the host of the Price is Right, I'd always watch him as a child. I, I sit with my father or my mother and and I sit and watch them win all that other all that other stuff. It I mean it really I mean it's really saddening to see him to see him go to be the third person to like to pass away. Like this is I, I'm gonna be honest with you. This has been the most deadliest week ever. Three now, three people have passed away now. I mean, it's devastating. I honestly don't know what the heck to say about it. But rest in peace to all those three guys. And then, like, after, and then, so then, like, after the show, I did not want to do that. I didn't want to make that move. Amazing. This isn't going to be easy. Well, that's not helping. Hold on. You know, while I'm you know while I'm trying to get no. Um Yeah, this yeah, this is gonna be tough. Dang it. These freaking these freaking Colored bowling pins, man. Red and blue. That's it. I was gonna keep talking about this while I'm playing these ads, but no. That's that's a that's a waste of time. So so of course, um so I was watch get this. I was watching WrestleMania today. Like they were recap. Well, they weren't. They weren't exactly recapping, but just looking at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. Nothing bad and nothing ugly, but very heartbreaking because we lost two of the all-time greats in the in the wrestling industry. So get this. I was I was watching it. I, I was watching it earlier today. And there was a pick of me in the entire WWE universe. But guess who was involved in that? And guess who was also in the crowd? Let me show you. This might restart the game. Anyway, as I was saying, I forgot to I forgot to resume the resume the recording. Nice move. Thank you. I had absolutely no idea that I was featured Amazing. that Dad and I were both featured in one of WrestleMania's wrestling news YouTube videos. Is exactly what I was trying to say before I forgot to continue. I'm gonna do it again. Um, 
I was I was gonna talk about I was gonna talk about some other stuff like uh, Oh, screw this level. It's 10 minutes. I was gonna talk about other stuff, but I guess recapping last night was all I could ever think of. I also I also recorded um, LA Knight cutting the promo, paying tribute to Bray Wyatt, but I didn't get the main event match though either. All I got was all I all I got was. A tag team match. Oh, I forgot about that one. The tag team match. The Terry Funk Hardcore tag team match between the Brawling Brutes and the Street Profits. Which, of course, the Street Profits won. And LA Knight cutting a promo. Yeah. But I didn't get the main event, though. As you can see in the description of that video. So, alright guys, that's it for Toy Blast for, for tonight. Uh, what a night. I'm still, I can still hear the sound of pyrotechnics, of pyros popping in my head. Just looking back at it. Yeah. <sighs> they were even using it in, at dark matches too. You know what? I'm done. I'm gonna end this video here. Since not an SML is uploaded, I guess stay tuned for a Me Canyon reaction video, as I'm sure he'll upload. And Candy Crush Friends tomorrow night. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do something. As I say once more, rest in peace to Terry Funk, Bray Wyatt and Bob Barker, and I will see you soon.